Chat GPT, the most controversial topic in the last few months. And for a reason, people are afraid that this new technology will take their jobs and replace them with an artificial intelligence. Chat GPT has proven to be good at generating code snippets and much more, which is why programmers are reflecting themselves every day whether they have made the right choice. Considering that and other different facts, I have decided to ask ChatGPT itself to give me a straight answer whether I should continue programming or maybe I should immediately start learning and adopting some other skills for my future. I have asked a couple of questions and I want to show you what kind of answers I have received. So the first question I have asked here is why programming is never meant to be for humans. Here I have wanted to receive an answer from a... a uh, artificial intelligence standpoint and the answer I have received here is said that uh, programming has not been designed specifically to be for humans but rather for computers. The goal of programming is to create a set of instructions that a computer can execute to perform a specific task. Uh, these instructions must be precise and uh, unambiguous and they must be written in a language that the computer can understand. Uh, while some programming languages and paradigms uh, have been developed to make the process of uh, writing code more accessible to humans, the ultimate audience for a code is always the computer and not the programmer. However, it is worth noting that there has been a growing movement in the software development community to make uh, programming more accessible to humans. Uh, this has led to development of a higher level uh, programming languages and the more user-friendly development environments, as well as the creation of uh, new paradigms and uh, methodologies, such as uh, visual programming that uh, aims to make the process of coding uh, less intimidating and uh, more intuitive for those who are new to programming. Now, uh, down below, uh, I have wanted to reformat this uh, actual question, which is why I have written now the question that says, uh, write me a whole article about uh, the topic, uh, why programming has never meant to be for humans from a perspective of a computer AI. Write me all the reasons why programming uh, is meant for robots and computers and not humans. Tell me all positive benefits of a programming without a real person. And down below I have received a quite long answer, which we're going to read right now. So, programming has never meant to be for humans. It is a tool that was designed specifically for computers and robots, with the goal of providing them with a set of instructions to perform a specific task. There are several reasons why programming was never intended for humans, and why it is better suited for computers and robots. Uh, first and foremost, uh, computers and robots can process and execute large amounts of data and instructions much more quickly and efficiently than humans can. They do not tire, uh, get bored or make mistakes. Uh, programming languages and uh, algorithms were designed uh, with this in mind, allowing for the precise and uh, efficient execution of a complex tasks that would be impractical or impossible for humans to perform. Another reason why programming was never intended for humans is that uh, computers and the robots do not require the same level of uh, creativity and intuitions as uh, humans do. Programming languages are highly structured and precise, and the instructions they provide must be unambiguous in order to be executed properly. This allows for the creation of a reliable and reproductible programs, but also uh, means that uh, programming is less flexible and less open to interpretation than uh, human-based activities. Uh, the benefits of uh, programming without the human involvement are many. For once, it uh, allows for the uh, automation of tasks that uh, would otherwise require human labor. This can save time and uh, resources, as well as increase the speed and accuracy of these tasks. Additionally, programming can be used to create uh, algorithms that can analyze and process large amounts of data, allowing uh, insights and patterns that would be difficult for humans to detect. Uh, furthermore, uh, programming without uh, human involvement is also ideal for the creation of uh, complex systems and applications. Uh, this can include everything from the financial models and the uh, simulations uh, to the control of uh, autonomous robots and vehicles. These systems uh, can be designed and optimized to perform specific tasks without the need for a human intervention, making them more reliable, consistent and scalable. In conclusion, uh, programming was never intended for humans. It was designed for computers and robots, providing them with the instructions they need to perform complex and repetitive tasks quickly and accurately. The benefits of a programming without a human involvement are many, including uh, increased efficiency, uh, reliability and uh, scalability. As the world becomes increasingly dependent on the technology, the importance of programming for computers and robots will only continue to grow. Now, uh, after this uh, quite long answer that I have received uh, from ChatGPT, 
I have also wanted to uh, write a couple of more questions, from which the first one is, uh, can humans expect to lose the programming race with the computers in the future and thus lose their jobs? Uh, the answer is uh, pretty much uh, clear in this case. So it is possible that in the future uh, some tasks uh, traditionally performed by humans in the programming field may become uh, automated, uh, leading to the reduction in the numbers of jobs in this area. However, it is also likely that uh, new job opportunities will emerge as the technology continues to advance. Now, the use of an AI and automation in programming has the potential to increase efficiency and accuracy, allowing humans to focus on higher level tasks that require creativity and critical thinking. At the same time, uh, the development and deployment of uh, new technologies uh, will likely create uh, new job opportunities in areas such as uh, AI development, cybersecurity, and uh, data analysis. Moreover, even as some tasks become automated, the role of uh, human programmers will continue to be important in uh, areas such as uh, designing, testing, and uh, debugging complex systems, as well as uh, in uh, the creation of uh, new and innovative software applications. And uh, it is also important to consider the social and the ethical implications of uh, a widespread automation and the displacement of uh, jobs. It will be important for a society to address these uh, issues and ensure that the benefits of uh, technological progress are distributed fairly and uh, equitably. In conclusion, uh, while the use of uh, an AI and the automation in programming may lead to some uh, changes in the job market, it is uh, unlikely to result in a complete elimination of uh, human programming jobs. Instead, it is likely to lead to a shift in the types of uh, jobs available and a greater emphasis on uh, skills such as uh, creativity, critical thinking, and uh, problem solving. Now, uh, after um, this uh, quite long uh, answer as well, I, have, uh, I had uh, only one more question to ask. So bottom line, uh, Android developers will keep their jobs. And I have received here uh, an answer saying that uh, it is difficult to make predictions about the future job market and uh, whether or not uh, Android developers will keep their jobs depends on a variety of factors. However, it is likely that the demand for a skilled Android developers will continue to be high in the future as the use of uh, mobile devices and applications continue to grow. So this line right here is uh, quite important for us uh, Android developers. Uh, now, uh, the Android operating system is one of the most widely used uh, mobile platforms in the world and the development of the applications for this platform continues to be growing field. As the technology and the capabilities of uh, mobile devices continue to advance, the demand for uh, skilled uh, Android developers who can create uh, high quality, innovative applications is uh, likely to remain strong. However, it is also important to know that this field of technology uh, is constantly evolving and the new technologies uh, and platforms uh, may emerge that uh, could change the job market for Android developers. And it is important for uh, individuals in this field to stay informed about the developments uh, in technology and to uh, continuously upgrade their skills in order to remain competitive. Which is uh, logical, of course, because uh, it is important for uh, each developer out there, especially Android developer, to stay up to date with the newest uh, technologies uh, and APIs that uh, are emerging uh, day by day. And in conclusion, uh, while it is difficult to make predictions about the future uh, job market, the demand for a skilled Android developers is uh, likely to remain high in the future. However, it is important for individuals in this field to stay informed about developments in technology and to continuously upgrade their skills. So bottom line, the future is uh, hard to predict even without the ChatGPT technology. But personally, I think that uh, programmers will not get deprecated. In fact, uh, if uh, programmers are uh, smart enough, uh, then they will try to take this new technology and uh, turn it into their own advantage. So you could think of a ChatGPT as uh, some kind of a uh, uh, programmer assistant that uh, will be there for you by your side, answering some questions that you don't necessarily need to know, but uh, can be quite helpful uh, when you're uh, looking for a fast answer. So uh, ChatGPT is uh, not necessarily bad, it just depends on the way you look at it. Be creative and uh, use it for your own good. Also, be sure to comment down below and let me know uh, what you think about this uh, new technology. Share your honest opinion and we can continue this uh, conversation down in the comment section. Thank you for watching.